Welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. What I've added since the last tutorial is a JTEX field. No, there's another component, and what it does, it displays one line of text, or it takes one line of text from the user. Um, normally, you have a label in front of it so that the the user knows what this this text field is for. And so I've added that to it, and I've took. took the the if the the default close operation and the set visible out of the constructor and put them to the end of these commands and um, because it ran better with it and so if I just run the program yeah you can see that the whole lot of them are one after another and I've used the hypertext to underline this text here. So you can use the use hi hypertext markup language HTML for web pages, but you can use it for label as well. Um, so using the same code. I'm not too sure if you can use it every single command, but you can use it to highlight and change the text and different things like that and underline. So. So that's what I've done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use, instead of using the get content pane um, for the frame, I'm going to use panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these away here. And I'm going to add panels to the frame. Right, but first I'm going to add um, buttons so that you can see um, for yourself um, where um, these border rail the default um, rail manages border rail is east west north south and centre and so what I'll do is I'll do the four buttons two buttons is capital P and J1 equals new and so what you've got is east, west, um, north and south and centre so there's five of them and so we're going to have five buttons. Two, three, four, five. Right. So that's us created five buttons. Now we're going to add them to the, the the frame. Before we start using panels, I want you to see the border layout because we won't see it's a panel, but we'll change its layout so we can actually use it. And so the default for a frame is border layout. And so if we do add and we add the component, and so we'll do one for west, and then we'll do and we'll do border layout dot west that's how you choose what border layout it goes to what part of it goes to east west north south and so if i copy this another four times and so this one will be east this one will be well it's got to be all capital this one will be north this will be south and this one will be centre and I'm not too sure how the centre is spelled I think it's that way no it's not that way yes it is that way because okay. you can spell it with the R E at the end instead 
instead of AR. So, but that's the way to spell it. So that's us assigned each one of these buttons, and I've got to do that number two, number three, number four, and number five. So in here we'll put center. In here we'll put solve. In here we'll put north. In here we'll put it's east. And the first one is west. So if we save and turn the program. What you see here is you've got a north button, you've got a south button, you've got a west button. Well, you can't see, you can't see the south button. I'll make it rear. South button, north button, west button, and east button and center button. So that's the default layout manager. So what we can do is we can put a panel in here, which will be a container. We can put a panel in here which will be a container and we can put a panel in here which will be a container and a panel on each one of these and we change the rails to each one of these to be different and so this north one if we put more stuff in it will become bigger and if we don't use the centre one the east one would move over here and the west one would move over here it would take up that space so and if it was no solve they would take up the solve space and so so it, it manages this itself at least I think that's the way we're going to prove it we're going to look to see if that's what happens it could be that that doesn't I'm not too sure but centre is the default um, for putting things into um, the, the frame it's because the border rail is the default is the centre one and so what we do now is we're going to create J, J panels and we'll call this one pan one we don't need to give now I'm going to pause it ok I've changed them all to J panel and to pan, pan one, pan two, pan three I've not changed the fifth one I've changed these all to pan as well, but I've not changed the fifth one, so you can see what I'm changing. So, pan 5 and JP to pan 5. So, with, instead of adding buttons, we've added, added panels. So, you won't see it's a panel. Um, the user won't know it's a panel, but the programmer knows and we can manipulate the panel. The panel is a container, so we can add things to the panel. So the default border layout for the panel um, is flow layout. So whatever we add to a panel will, will follow the, the border layout. So what we can see is we've added panel 1 to the west. And so if we add a button to panel 1, Before we add it to the, before we add it to the, the frame, we want to add it. We want to create a button, J button, and we we'll call it JP equals new J button. That's a J button. No, one more T there. That's J button created, and we can add this. What we can do before then, we can say JB dot set size.